Hey there friends, John Ferriman here coming at you from Balanced Physical Therapy. Today I want to talk about discipline. Um, it's a hot topic, it seems like it's always been a hot topic, and recently with lots of very, very uh, complex patient cases in the clinic, it's become a topic of discussion for how we can continue to keep our patients motivated, to keep our teams motivated, etc. And here's what I have to say about it. Do it anyway. That's how you develop discipline. We have goals, maybe it's a weight loss goal, or maybe it's a, a deadlift, you know, one RM, you know, goal. Maybe it's a, a certain time on a marathon or a 5K. Maybe it's a certain amount of money saved. Maybe it's a trip that we want to take with our family, a new business venture that we want to start, whatever it might be. How do we develop the discipline to get there? I would suggest taking imperfect action and executing, whether you feel like it or not, because guess what? After 22 years as a business owner, I don't feel like it. I rarely feel like it. I do it anyway. I do it in spite of my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, my moods, because I'm a human being just like you. And I have off days and some days, you know, the, the, uh, the wimpy voice in my brain when the alarm clock goes off at 4.30 in the morning wants to hit the snooze button. Mm -mm, I don't because I'm breaking a promise to myself if I do that. And if I break promises to me, I'm a lot more likely to break promises to others, right? Which is not the way that you build a successful legacy company. You don't do that. You keep your word to yourself. So if you want to develop more discipline in your life, set an intention and where, wherever or however you feel doesn't matter. Your feelings are irrelevant. You go and do what's required of you anyway and you look back and go, hey, yeah, I didn't like getting up at 4.30, but I did it and I got my butt to the gym. I didn't like eating chicken and eggs and rice and broccoli for weeks on end, but I did it. And man, look at how my body has transformed. Whoa. I didn't like, you know, not going out with my friends weekend after weekend. And I didn't like not spending money on the things that I really wanted. But hey, I, I, I disciplined myself and I practiced some delayed gratification. And holy mackerel, look at the nest egg that I've been able to develop. Wow. Discipline comes after you've taken action. Very, very rarely, very few of us have intrinsic discipline. It's something that you develop over time by doing it anyway, regardless of how you feel about it. That's where it comes from. So if you're looking for discipline, you're not gonna find it. Go execute, go do the things that you don't want to do because they're uncomfortable, and then look back in the rearview mirror and go, wow, look at the results that I was able to create. That wasn't so bad, and then, guess what? You can be a person who's disciplined and you can understand where it comes from. It comes from your decisions that you make every single day. So go do some things that you're uncomfortable doing, look at the result that you get on the other side and enjoy the feeling of being a disciplined human being. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.